on June 10, 1990, as passengers were preparing to board British Airways Flight 5390 from Birmingham to Malaga. They knew little about the harrowing experience that awaited them. The ensuing events unfolded into one of aviation's most extraordinary tales of survival. The captain of the flight was 42-year-old Timothy Lancaster, who had logged 11,050 flight hours. The co-pilot was 39-year-old Alastair Acheson with 7,500 flight hours. The aircraft also carried four cabin crew and 81 passengers. Acheson handled a routine takeoff at 8.20 local time, then handed control to Lancaster as the plane continued to climb. Both pilots released their shoulder harnesses and Lancaster loosened his lap belt. At 8.33, the plane had climbed through about 17,300 feet over Didcot, Oxfordshire, and the cabin crew were preparing for meal service. Air steward Nigel Ogden was entering the cockpit when there was a loud bang and the cabin quickly filled with condensation. The left windscreen panel on Lancaster's side of the flight deck had separated from the forward fuselage. Lancaster was propelled out of his seat by the rushing air from the decompression and forced head first out of the flight deck. His knees were caught on the flight controls and his upper torso remained outside the aircraft, exposed to extreme wind and cold. Lancaster said that he was aware of being outside of the airplane, but that really didn't bother me a great deal. What I remember most clearly was the fact that I couldn't breathe because I was facing into the airflow, he said. The autopilot had disengaged, causing the plane to descend rapidly. The flight deck door was blown inward onto the control console, blocking the throttle control and causing the aircraft to gain speed as it descended. Papers and debris were blown into the flight deck from the passenger cabin. Ogden rushed to grab Lancaster's belt, while the other two air stewards secured loose objects, reassured passengers, and instructed them to adopt brace positions in anticipation of an emergency landing. The plane was not equipped with oxygen for everyone on board, so Atchison began a rapid emergency descent to reach an altitude with sufficient air pressure. He then re-engaged the autopilot and broadcast a distress call, but he was unable to hear the response from air traffic control because of wind noise. The difficulty in establishing two-way communication led to a delay in initiation of emergency procedures. Ogden, still holding on to Lancaster, was by now developing frostbite and exhaustion, so Chief Steward John Heward and Air Steward Simon Rogers took over the task of holding on to the captain. By this time, Lancaster had shifted several inches farther outside and his head was repeatedly striking the side of the fuselage. The crew believed him to be dead, but Atchison told the others to continue holding on to him out of fear that letting go might cause Lancaster to strike the left wing, engine, or horizontal stabilizer potentially causing damage to the aircraft. Eventually, Atchison was able to hear the clearance from air traffic control to make an emergency landing at Southampton Airport. The air stewards managed to free Lancaster's ankles from the flight controls while still keeping hold of him. At 8.55, the aircraft landed at Southampton and the passengers disembarked using boarding steps. According to the New York Post, Captain Lancaster was taken to Southampton General Hospital, he survived with frostbite, bruising, shock, and fractures to his right arm, left thumb, and right wrist. And Ogden dislocated his shoulder and had frostbite on his face. A UK government investigation into the incident later revealed that the wrong bolts were used to install the blown-out windshield, which was swapped during routine maintenance 27 hours before the flight took off. The British Airways Flight 5390 incident remains one of the most astonishing in the history of aviation. Perhaps even more amazingly, Lancaster was back flying just months later. Stay tuned for more incredible stories, and until next time, stay curious.